Hi everyone, welcome to the Ice House webinar and today is a product web webinar focusing on our owner operator program that is based in the Hawke's Bay. It's the Hawke's Bay Regional Program and today we have Michaela with us. She is the Regional Manager for Hawke's Bay and also an Ice House coach. So I'm sure there'll be a few watching that have had touch points with Michaela in the past. So thanks for joining us, Michaela. Appreciate it. Oh, thanks very much for having me. It's great. It's a great yeah. opportunity to have a chat about what we're doing in Hawke's Bay. Exactly. And there's some really cool things happening in the Hawke's Bay, some great alumni businesses, good sense of community down there. And so, yeah, we just thought let's have a deep dive into our specific regional program sort of product that we have down there so that if anyone is just sort of on the fence about it or wants to know more, um, that this is a great video for them to watch. So a bit of a Q&A. First things first. Michaela, why don't you introduce yourself, your role at the Ice House and your involvement in the Owner Operator Program? Sure. So I'm Michaela Vdanovich. I'm the Regional Manager for the Ice House uh, in Hawke's Bay. Um, and my role is uh, predominantly um, as a facilitator for the Owner Operator Program um, and the Effective Leadership Program. And also um, I'm a business coach for our customers here in Hawke's Bay. Awesome. So, so good. I love that. It's actually really cool. I've done um, a few podcasts with some of the alumni that have done some coaching with you and just the raving reviews that we get from um, any experience um, with you or any sort of deep dive into their business and um, touch point with you. I know people get a lot of value from what you do down in the Hawks Bay. So thank you in advance. Thank you. That's, that's, that's really, really nice feedback. I mean, I, um, you know, we started... Um, Gosh, it must be eight years ago now. In wow. Bay, out of you know, and and at that time, Auckland was the only um, hub for the ice house. Yeah, only so, region. Um, but we're very, very well supported here by our alums, and um, and they said we want something in Hawke's Bay, so that's why we came. And I helped the ice house get set up, and and then took on the regional manager role. So it's been it's been an awesome awesome. Um, time for us to kind of reconnect with our alums and also bring on new businesses into the region. Yeah, I love that. And I love to lean into um, our regional focus and actually yeah. doing that. Um, having people on the ground makes such a difference. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. So the first question I've got here around to the program is what do the attendees get from the program? Why should they do or consider doing the program? Um, it's really interesting, actually. I just happened to be talking to one of the um, graduates yesterday afternoon, and right. um, and he said to me um, because he'd spent a couple of hours working with a, or um, talking, I should say, to one of our new alums, mm -hmm. and um, and he was saying the thing is is that the owner operator program, it's not rocket science. Yeah. Right? It, but what it does do is it keeps you focused on the important stuff for your business. Mm -hmm. It keeps you thinking about getting out of the operational day-to-day -day activity and start thinking about how can I actually do things today that is going to make my business sustainable over time? How can I do things today that is going to make my, my business more profitable over time? Right. How can I do things today that's going to actually allow me to retain staff, my my really really good A players? <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's you know it's it's a con. It, so it's not. I, I don't think that um, I um, give my experience over to other business owners to make them think. Oh gosh, I've never thought of that. It's more about thinking about what is important to you right now. Where are you heading with your business, and how can I help you get there? Yeah, wow. Yeah, that's awesome. And sometimes these, yeah, like you're saying, the topics that are covered are simple, basic, back to the basic topics, yeah. but they just don't always have the time or the mental capacity to actually go there. And so sometimes they're so stuck in, in the business that they just need to have a bit of a bird's eye view on the business. Yeah. Um, so yeah, clever. That's great. But I think the other thing too is like I call it a, it's a, to me, it's a third, a third, a third. 
So yep. it's a, th a third of what they'll learn will come from me and my experience of bringing businesses out of, um, you know, because I my last couple of roles were really try in, in terms of my corporate roles, we're really trying to get the business out of <clears throat> um, the crap, so to speak, yep. um, and, and making them profitable and sustainable. Great. So there's a third of that that's the learning and that's the workshops that they get every single month. <clears throat> Excuse me. The, th the other third is actually in learning through implementation. So I, there is an accountability piece. So if people want to just come along, listen to the content and then do nothing, they're not right yeah. for the owner-operator program. They've yeah. got to actually start doing stuff or else they're not going to see change. Mm. And then the other third is what they learn from one another. Yeah. So by being part of a group of, you know, and we generally um, have the owner-operator program around... 10 to 14 we don't like it to get too much bigger because that way we can actually have a really good level of intimacy and and feedback and um and uh the group actually really um melds really really well together if it gets any bigger than that we probably need to get more facilitators on board so hence we want to keep it still keep it nice and small Mm, um, yeah. and they do they learn so much from each other but then they also what's great for me is when one business owner says hang on a minute haven't you been talking about this for the last two months why yeah. haven't you done something about it yeah <laughs> perhaps in that you know, accountability like, <laughs> they're getting it um yeah. so yeah no it's um that that's what I think that and that's what this business owner was saying to me yesterday you know the program gave me focus it told me what I should be um, really concentrating on right now, concentrating on the important stuff that's actually going to benefit me as the business owner in the long term. Mm. And then the camaraderie that you get from being part of a group of other business owners. Yeah, that's brilliant. Love that. And yeah, that community that they get um, yeah. once they have finished up or through it, that they can yes. always have ideas yeah. or they're a call away from those mm. people they've gone through that with. Yeah. Mm, that's so cool. Nice. Next question here. How long does the owner operator program go for? Okay, so it um it does depend a little bit. So it's 14 workshops. So it depends where Christmas hits because we don't have a um a workshop at Christmas. Yeah. Because everybody's far too busy because of the um the seasonality of Hawke's Bay. So um, so generally it takes 15 or 16 months, depending on when you join, but you can join at any time. So we have people coming on and off the program. Yeah. Wow. So, that's people get through, so, the, so the program, so it's not like um, some of our other programs, which has a start and finish date. Mm. You can come on any time of the year and your group will actually morph and change over time as people graduate and other people come on. Yeah, that's so interesting. That is very different to our owner managed program and a few other yeah. programs that people might be, um, you know, may have seen around. Um, yeah. But quite a cool way. You, you find that works really well, obviously. Yeah, it does. It, um, yeah. It, and, but the funny thing is, is that um, one, of the, well, one of the comments I hear quite often from a lot of business owners is, oh, you've just done the topic when I needed it. Oh, wow. And, and, that's, that's, and, that's not, and that's not because I'm, you know, psychic or anything. It's <laughs> just that, it's just that the, the content is right for the time for when that person comes in. Yep. Um, and, yeah, it just works really, really well. Um, it's, and, and that sliding door kind of people coming on, people coming off, um, really um, adds more to the dynamic of that um, owner group too, which is fantastic. Yeah, that's great. So you, so everyone does every topic just at different, yes. different yep. times. Just yeah, at different times. So you might start at workshop six and then you'll end at workshop five. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, or you might start at one and end at 14. Uh, mm. just, um, but, but it is literally, it, it doesn't matter what order it comes in. Nice. And how frequent is it? So every month we have a workshop on the last Friday of every month. Mm -hmm. so we start the workshop at nine o'clock. <clears throat> yeah. Well, actually, let's be realistic. The business <laughs> owners. So I like to start at nine o'clock, and realistically, we start about ten past nine um, <laughs> yeah. because everybody's always late. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, and then we go till twelve thirty, and then we have a lunch together. 
Yes. So that's our kind of social time to um, to kind of just chill out with each other and, and have a good natter. Yeah. And um, then every middle of the month, every Friday in the middle of the month, I have an, what's called an action group. So it's mm -hmm. an hour and a half and they, uh, the business owners come in and they talk to what they've actually managed to implement, mm. we talk through any challenges that they're having at the moment, put that to the group and we all have a conversation around it. Mm -hmm. And then every two months, you get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Oh. So that's specific, specific to the business. So it could be anything. The coaching could be about pricing. It yeah. could be about marketing. It could be about a legal issue. It mm. could be about a staffing issue. Should I bring on a new staff member? Mm. How do I know whether I've got enough money in the bank to be able to do that? Wow, yeah. Brilliant. So, yeah, it could be a sales strategy. Um, so quite often, I um, actually have the business owner might bring in one of their um, team to the coaching session with them because they want to deal with something specific. Yes. And they want that person to benefit. And they're able to do that through the, through the program. Oh, I love how it's set up. That sounds like a real one. Awesome. Yep. That's cool. Next question. What are some of the differences you find in businesses and region versus big cities? Differences. I think probably the biggest difference specific to Hawke, and I'll just talk to Hawke's Bay, but this will be, you know, I've seen it in other regions as well with some of the regional strategy work I've done. Um, we are very insular so we're very internally focused so yeah. Hawke's Bay, you know a lot of Hawke's Bay businesses are doing business with Hawke's Bay businesses yes okay so we're not um we're, we're very reliant on each other and we're very very community based but we're mm -hmm. also very good at supporting one another mm, so um I think that the, I you know from my time I've worked kind of 15 16 years in Auckland <clears throat> and um, I just find being in a regional centre, we do tend to look after each other a little bit more. And that's just because it's like being a smaller family, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, when you've got a smaller family, you can just concentrate on one or two kids. When you've got a bigger family, things start getting a little bit more spread out. Well, it's exactly the same in business. Mm, yeah. So, you know, I, I think we're very, very fortunate, but also that's a bit of a risk for Hawke's Bay. Because mm. we, if we're too internally focused and we're not actually going outside of the region, we may be putting all our eggs in one basket. So if, say, we have a major flood or, you know, major weather occurrence or an earthquake, for instance, you've got to ask yourself how, how resilient are the businesses going to be? So one of the things I do focus on very much in the owner-operator program is diversification. If, I've, if I'm seeing a business that's way too reliant in terms of that internal focus, I'm going to be encouraging it to start thinking about, well, what, what about outside Hawke's Bay? Mm, yeah. And, and sometimes it's appropriate and sometimes it's not. But, you know, diversification is definitely one of the things I always look at. Wow, that's such a great perspective. I guess it also must be different for industries and all that sort of thing as oh, well. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, nice. I like throwing in that question because I thought, you know, that, that is relatable to the Hawke's Bay business owner. You know, how is this program going to be adapted to how I do business? And um, how is that different to Auckland and some of our bigger regions? So that's awesome. That's a great answer. Any standout stories and wins from the owner-operator program? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, well I'd like to say that probably the standout wins from the owner operator program is that um bar none I've managed to make every single company more profitable wow that's so, amazing. so you know um I'm really really proud of that it's yeah. because the owner operators are so committed to what we agree we're going to do in terms of the plan um but yeah, that's that's probably my biggest standout win. But there's so many other others like, um, you know, owner operators letting their staff members buy into their business so that they secure those um, really really top people, um, and they become part of the the journey with the original founder. And I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got. I oh, mean, gosh, there's so there's so many. I've got. Um, 
people who are releasing brand new products, looking to export, um, you know, doubled the size of their business. Uh, it, but one of the things that I, I really do like is when I start seeing my business owners actually living a better life because they've got a business of their own. Wow. So, you know, so it's <clears throat> to know that um, I had a really, really good example of this recently where um, the business owner had told his staff that um, he was going to start taking Wednesday afternoons off to go and play golf because he just needs some, you know, downtime yeah. and, and, needs, and needs the exercise. And so a um, couple of weeks after he um, promised his staff that he would do this, he turned up on a Wednesday afternoon to work and his staff member turned around and said, what are you doing? You're supposed to be at golf. Awesome. And he was like, oh, they actually care. Yeah. They actually care about me and my well-being, and that's awesome. Wow. That's uh, really yeah. So boring. it's you know, it's those types of you know, it doesn't sound like much, but actually that's a big win for a for a business owner who traditionally was working 60 hours a week. Mm, massive one. Yeah. I love I love what a great mix of stories, you know bringing and adding profit to every business you've worked with, that is a massive achievement and incredible value. You know, that's it right there. Why would you not do the program if, you know, if you know you're going to get some um, some more profit out of it on the other end um, and, and just learn the skills and, and have the networks to be able to do that. Um, yeah. But also I love that you mentioned that lifestyle piece because, you know, that's a, an incredible win. But um, having a lifestyle that is sustainable long term, that is enjoyable, that makes being a business owner worthwhile, um, that is gold. That is so, so important. Yeah. And, and one of the other things, too, that I focus on very, very quickly um, when I start working with an owner, owner operator is um, how much they're paying themselves. Mm. Wow. Because yeah. they constantly discount themselves before because they're putting their staff in front of them yeah and you know I mean if you if you're not earning a decent wage why be in business <laughs> yes you know percent. you might as well because at the moment you could go and get a probably the majority of owner operators could go and actually get a really really good job and be paid very very well and not have all the stress so, you know, it's, it's the lifestyle, but it's also the, um, the business has to pay back to the business owner for all their hard work. Yeah, totally. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Great answers. Oh, this must be the last question. Um, how can I sign up for the programming? In touch with you directly, Michaela, if they wanted to work with you, maybe even just on a coaching basis. Yeah, so um, there's a, a number of... Um, customers that we've got um, who are who've started with coaching first just because they needed a little bit of support um, up front and then they've moved on to the owner operator program but basically the easiest way is to um, is to get in touch with us online um, there is um, Kate is available in Hawke's Bay to have a chat to you about the owner operator program my number's available um, we really don't mind how people get in touch with us. Just, you know, pick up the phone and give us a call and have a chat about whether it's appropriate for you. The um, well, biggest thing for me, though, is implementation. Yes. So unless, unless, you know, you can't change unless you change. So, um, you know, there, there's a lot to be, um, uh, there's a lot that people can benefit from with this program. Um, but it is all about actually doing the work, focusing on the stuff that's really important and making sure that you don't let the business suck you in. You know, the question that I always ask, even myself and my own business, is the business controlling you or are you controlling the business? If you mm. want to control the business, then you can come on this program and that will happen for you. Wow, what a way to end this product webinar and to learn more about it. And 
if you are watching or listening to this and going, actually, it is my time, maybe heading into 2022, the start of 2022, this is my time to jump on the this program, meet people, uh, get that focus and implement, being a real key, um, implement what I need to to bring my business to the next level, then uh, do get in touch with us. And I'll make sure that in the sort of caption or wording uh, that comes with this webinar when we promote it, that you can click on uh, the email and the link to make sure that you can just easily get in touch and, and um, talk to Kate or Michaela and or the team here at the yeah. IFAF. So really appreciate your time, Michaela. I've learned a lot. Um, and I'm sure those that who are tuning in have um, learned lots too. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks so much. Lovely to see you.